ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. CBS 1910 at 10, a Marine and his wife have become an inspiration to thousands online. It all started with a photo. We'll show you this picture worth a thousand words tonight on 10 at 10. And now on to the morning's top stories. We're still looking for answers this morning after a woman's body is found in a man's car. 37-year-old Willie Sims is charged with tampering with physical evidence of a human corpse, which is a felony. Now, police say they found the body of 30-year-old Amanda Woods just after 3 Tuesday morning after getting a call about a car crash near FM 349 and FM 2276. Sims was found in some nearby woods. Police say he admitted to transporting the body from his apartment. That uh, evidence on scene suggested we believe that uh, Miss Woods was uh, was killed prior to being taken to that location. Uh, as far as who committed that crime, that's still under investigation. A cause of death for Woods has not been released. Sims remains in the Gregg County Jail as police investigate. A follow-up DNA testing positively identifies the man found dead inside of a burning truck in Lufkin earlier this month. Lufkin Police Department says on August 14th, someone found the body of Efren Elizondo of Lufkin in the truck. Autopsy results have not been released, but two people have been arrested and police are still trying to find another Miguel Hernandez Monsavias of Lufkin. He's wanted on a murder warrant. Looking ahead, state troopers will be working overtime during the holiday weekend to make sure parties don't spill onto the roads. DPS will focus on drunk drivers between now and September 9th. Troopers say they caught nearly 2,000 people driving drunk over last year's Labor Day weekend. A grant from TxDOT pays for the extra patrols. The threat of grass fires continues in East Texas. That's why Smith County will remain under a burn ban. It's just getting too close to 700 to lift this. I would encourage the members of the court to uh, extend the burn ban order. Tuesday, Smith County commissioners voted to extend the county's burn ban until further notice. The vote was based on the drought index that shows conditions are getting worse. Well, let's get over to Scott Fossey now, see how hot it's going to get today. Clinton, day to your forecast today on this midweek Wednesday. 76 early this morning, 94 by lunchtime today. Then I ought to tell you it's going to be a hot one today with highs climbing up close to 100. We'll call for 99 today with temps sliding back down to around 97, 98 between 5 and 6 this evening. About the time to think about heading home. Hour by hour today as we walk you through the forecast, we'll see a few mid-level clouds early before lunchtime today. Otherwise, sunny skies, high pressure centered out over northeastern Oklahoma. And as long as that high has its grip on us, as long Locked in place over the central plains and does not move back to the west. We we'll continue to see hot weather and very dry conditions for the next several days. By the middle part of next week, that high should start to relax its grip or hold somewhat, bringing with it a slight chance for rain by about a week from today. Until then, very hot. Triple digits anticipated tomorrow, also Friday, climbing to 101 then. 98 to 100 Saturday and Sunday, our next slight chance for rain Wednesday of next week. Thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Check out CBS19.tv.